Welcome to the desert. Dry, dusty, barren, and desiccated? Well, not always. Check out the Mojave. So this is the Mojave Desert. And we're just outside the Sima Dome in the north part of the Mojave. When you think of desert, sometimes you think of heat, but it's kind of cold today. It's about 50 degrees, the wind's blowing, it seems colder than that. And this is the largest concentration in the world of Joshua trees. And that's what those tall tree-like structures are in the background. Now Joshua trees aren't actually trees, they're yucca plants. Now, the Joshua tree is a unique plant and it's established a mutually symbiotic relationship with one particular species of moth, the Pronuba moth. It is the only insect that can pollinate this tree. Without the Pronuba, the Joshua tree doesn't survive, becomes extinct. And as a result, a lot of the other plants and animals, like this common raven, would have to find a new ecosystem to live in. But it's not just the Pranuba moth and the Joshua tree that make this desert unique, it's the soil. This soil appears to be dead in the Mojave Desert, but it's not. In fact, it's got lots of different kinds of organisms that live in the soil, especially lichen, which makes this a cryptogramic soil. And because of this uh, cryptogramic soil, all sorts of plants, including beautiful desert flowers, the old man prickly pear cactus, desert sagebrush, and lots of other cool yet freaky plants. And because of these plants, well, that attracts insects, like these western tent caterpillars. These guys make tents, they survive inside in great groups. The inside of these tents is humid, which allows these tent caterpillars to actually uh, avoid desiccation, drying out from the desert. But of all the plants in the Mojave, one of the coolest is the creosote bush. The creosote bush is a cool bush for two reasons. Number one, it's been used by Native Americans for thousands of years as a medicinal plant. Now, if that wasn't interesting enough, scientists have recently discovered a particular creosote bush in the Mojave called the King Clone Bush, called that because it clones itself, that is 11,700 years old. Think about it. That makes it the oldest living organism on the planet. That means that when it was just a sprout, there were woolly mammoths walking around. That's crazy old. So the creosote bush also provides lots of habitat for burrowing animals and insects, including the stink beetle, which shoots stink out its butt as a defensive adaptation. Also the desert tortoise, which has a very large bladder, which allows it to hold lots of water. And the whiptail lizard, which when it moves like lightning, whips its tail. Watch, check it out. Watch, oh, did, oh, you missed it. Well, let's see it again in slow motion. Check this out. Watch for the tail. There it is. Cool. Nice. The Mojave. Eight degrees in January, up to 120 degrees in August. Average rainfall, 2.5 inches per year. A great desert.